Hey guys, welcome back to Dieter Plays and another episode of Roblox News. We've got a couple of things here to talk about. There's a couple of leaks and also we're going to talk about these items that went on sale for Black Friday and then just a little bit of update on the Copa thing and how it's going to affect Roblox and Roblox content creators. So first thing, guys, I'm not sure if you noticed when I made the videos for when each of these came out for the Black Friday sale, I said I was pretty much 99% sure that they were going to go limited. But at this point, it seems like if you look here, they're more valuable than they were but the f prices are definitely fluctuating as they do. They go up and they go down. Uh, so we're still not sure where these prices are going to be. Uh, they're kind of all over the place. But as far as this Black Friday sale went, a lot of people, you know, um, you see Unite over on Twitter. Uh, they wanted some of the old school stuff and some waves of some things that we haven't seen in a long time. So they were kind of disappointed. But it was really cool that like some of these really new items came out. And the fact that they have gone limited, I think, is really good, too. This one right here, the Ice Valkyrie. So originally, I think this one was 20. Like, I just refreshed these individual pages. So if you look here, it says 28.572. Over here, it's 26,000. So it is actually fluctuating quite a bit. It's it's going up and it's going down. Original price, 20,000. Average price now has been about 27. So it's gone up, but not significantly. It's still less than that other Valkyrie that you can get for 50 thousand that you can get at any time now this one right here the viscount of the federation was forty thousand but it looks like some people are trying to sell it like average price nine thousand seven hundred seventy two wrap after sale. so uh this one looks like the wrap went down on it and people are trying to sell it for all sorts of prices the lowest price is forty thousand not sure why anyone would try to put these on sale for more see now i just refresh and fifty seven thousand is the lowest so people are kind of changing the prices trying to see if they're actually going to be able to make some money back on these ones but so far it's not really working out too well you can see how many were sold as well too like 435 of these were sold so there's only 435 of these in circulation so that means the price is going to probably still remain fairly decent for this one uh viridian domino crown it looks like there was 2000 over 2000 of those sold average price 16000 wrap after sale 16000 uh but people trying to sell these now for 16000 uh i don't remember exactly what the original price was i think let's see the original price was 12000 okay i thought it was like 13 for six so it's gone up a little bit but not significantly and again if i refresh this you never know the price is going to change at least by one robux like that one did right there so this one right here the viscountess of the federation so right now it's saying best price is 80000 so that's twice what it was so this seems like this is the one that is going up in value more than any of these ones right here uh so this one only sold 144 and that's why the value on this one is going to kind of stay up i'm pretty sure for quite some time because there's only 144 of them out there so the price definitely went up and the value on this one went up significantly after it went limited let me see what happens after we refresh this uh yeah it's still sitting about 80,000, but that's still double what the original price was so that is that is pretty good so anyone who got that one those 144 people who snagged that up looks like they ended up making a decent profit that is if somebody is willing to purchase these later at some of these prices so i'm doubting that a lot of people are actually you know purchasing these now like they waited for them to go limited and then they purchased them uh, afterwards uh, but you never know you never know there might be some people that are willing to do that actually now this one right here the diamond crystal circlet is only gone up like moderately in the value uh, it was originally 875 as all of them pretty much are the diamond crystal circlet uh, but they sold 12,568 of those so wow that is that is pretty cool 12,568 of those um, but now, let's see if we refresh this one, if it's still changing. It just went down one Robux, so people are kind of going up and down. The value on this one didn't didn't seem to adjust much, but again, guys, there's over 12,000 of these out there, so uh, I was guessing it probably wouldn't, but still limited, just like I told you guys. I told you guys these were going to go limited uh, when I made the videos. Um, do you think these are going to be the last limited? And a lot of people are saying that this could be the last sale. I don't know. I don't think this would be the last sale. Like, if we were going to calculate, basically, how much much uh, robux was earned for uh, for for uh, roblox basically just by this item alone let's see um 875 if we're going to take 875 multiply it by 12,568 we get oh almost 11 million robux 11 million robux 
Wow. Okay. So that's, and then that's, you convert that to like regular currency. That's quite a bit. So like if we were going by the cheapest price, like in order to purchase 11,000, in order to purchase 11 million, you'd have to purchase like uh, a thousand of these basically. So you'd have to purchase a thousand of these. So a thousand of these times a hundred dollars, like that's over a hundred thousand dollars that Roblo Roblox was able to like generate as far as how much it would cost to buy all these diamond crystal circuits. So that's pretty decent. That's a, that's a fair chunk of change, and that is just one of these items. So uh, I'm thinking that sales are probably worthwhile. I'm sure it didn't cost a hundred thousand dollars to generate this, especially since it was a pre-made like mesh. So they already just textured it. So um, I I'm thinking that this is probably not going to be the last sale, or at least hopefully. Fully not uh, is what I'm saying. So uh, this one right here, the disgraced Starstone of the Federation. This one was, I believe, only ten thousand. So this one it went up significantly, twenty four thousand five hundred. That people are putting as a price on this one. Yeah, uh, that one hasn't really changed so much. Uh, but there was only one hundred twenty of these sold. Wow. I'm actually pretty surprised that there was only 120 of these sold. Though traditionally, it makes sense because a lot of the disgraced, uh, you know, whatever, of the Federation items, they don't end up going up a lot in value. But the fact that there's only 120 of them out there means that this one was probably a really good purchase for whoever ended up purchasing this one. And this one is probably going to remain worth at least a, a bit more than what it was worth when people when it was first for sale. Now this one right here, the 8-bit Immortal Sword, I'm kind of shocked that the price, like it was originally 20,000, but then the price is going up quite a bit. It's like 42,000 almost on this one. There was only 116 sold though. So this one, of all of those ones, this one's actually the most rare, because a lot of people saw it. They're like 20,000 Robux for that sword. I don't know, that seems you know, too expensive, but now, at this point, there's only 120, 116 of them out there. So people who have this have a very, very rare item, so the price and the value of this one actually stayed up quite a bit. So it's not really necessarily about, you know, when people first saw that, it's a $20,000 Robux for this 8-bit Immortal Sword that's ridiculous, so hardly anybody got it, and then it went limited, and now there's only 116 out there, and now it's a super rare item that's worth a lot more. So people went, that, went for that item, then GG, they did a pretty good job, and uh, I think they're probably pretty happy with their purchase at this point. So now we're going to talk about a couple of leaks that we've got here. Uh, we've seen uh, a little bit. We took a second to look at this hyperspace jetpack. We've got some Fast and the Furious cars that are out. We're going to take a look at all of those. There's a new Fast and Furious movie that comes out, it looks like. And then we've got some indications of some toy code items that are coming as well. So this is the hyperspace jetpack. Uh, it says this is part of the creator challenge, so I think this is the third one that we're going to be able to get on December 30th. So when that is available, I will show you how to get that when it's open. So, uh, so hopefully this doesn't replace the Kylo Ren mask, because we really wanted that Kylo Ren mask, and it looks really cool. Saturn's Rings. Now, we're not sure what this one's going to be for, if this is going to be part of the Star Wars event or something, because it's, you know, it's kind of space theme. So, uh, but I'm still not sure if it's going to have anything to do with the Star Wars event or just something that you can get. Uh, next one we have right here, Fast and Furious Spy Racer. So, uh, I, on Netflix, I think December 26th is going to be a new animated TV show that is basically an animated Fast and the Furious. So we get these cars. I'm thinking these are going to be gear items. Um, I don't know. There is an item. It's a UGC item on the catalog, but it, and it's kind of around your waist, but it looks kind of silly. Uh, so these are the different cars that you can get. But again, they're gear items, but they're still pretty cool looking. So it's looking like there's some sort of maybe promotional event that's going to be coming up in Roblox promoting Fast and the Furious Spy Racers. I'm guessing these are just going to be some sort of free items or something, maybe a promo code, but I'm guessing they're going to be something that's easy to get. Uh, Luna Moth General Helmet. So this is going to be part of a toy code. Looks to me almost like an Arthro package. Maybe it could just be a helmet that exists by itself as a toy code, but another indication that pretty soon we're going to have another line of toys coming down the road. Pretty sure they should get released soon because wouldn't they want to release them before Christmas? I'm not sure. If it was if it was me and if it was my company, I would probably want to make sure I release them before Christmas. Then we've got here the Butterfly General Helmet. So this one is also from a toy code. Looks like a slightly different general. Not really my style. I don't think I'd go for that one. But who knows? You never really know what you're going to end up getting when you get a toy code. It could just be just about anything. Uh, so over here, we're looking here at the popular games list again because we took a look at this and we're 
we're, we're trying to kind of keep track uh, of Pet Simulator 2 and what's happening there. It seems like people are, you know, forgiving Pet Simulator 2 or they're going to give it another chance because it kind of, you know, there wasn't a whole lot in the whole pay to win thing aspect of it that a lot of people were arguing about. Uh, but it looks like Ninja Legends is has about twice as many players as that, of course, in Adopt Me back at the top. So we'll see if Pet Simulator starts getting some updates and if that makes a difference and if it's going to improve or not. But if not, I think this one might start drifting further down to the end. Uh, but we still uh, are OP Ninja Legends, and if you guys need some good pets in Ninja Legends, make sure you subscribe and get your notification bell on. Also in Lumion Legacy, I have been rallying a bunch of Lumions, so I've got a bunch of those to give away as well. Now, uh, one little quick update. Creek talked to Kappa yesterday, or someone from the FTC, and I watched his video. Uh, basically what he's saying is like, you know, FTC is not going to be targeting small creators. It has to be very, very blatantly obvious that the video uh, is intended for children audience and that you are knowingly like collecting personal information in that whole situation so I think generally a lot of the Roblox YouTubers are gonna be in pretty good shape you know unless it's someone like Cookie Swirl C or Inquisitor Master people who talk to kids like they're basically all little toddlers so uh, and I don't do that I talk to you guys like uh, like the age that you guys are because you know with this is not a channel uh, that is just directed at kids. So I think that is good news for our channel and for other channels that exist that are Roblox oriented. Uh, if you guys are new here, I would love to have you subscribe and hit that notification bell. And thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later.